The opportunities we have at the moment are immense, but also the risks we have are immense. I mean, you see the geopolitical tensions, we see aging populations, you see what we need to do to absolutely be able to save the climate. And you can't do it alone, you have to do it with someone. And in order to do this, you need to do two things. We need to take IT and you need to take OT. If we can combine the two, we can build things which have never existed before to solve those huge problems. Siemens is a leader in the area of industrial software and Microsoft is a leader in communication, for example, or AI. So we take the two worlds together and make them better. So one of the, the examples we have is we take Team Center, which is basically building the bill of material. We're taking Teams and we're taking ChatGPT and integrating the three of them. We're demonstrating different worlds coming together, the industrial software world, the collaboration world, and the AI world to do a better solution. Well, look, the way I look at it is, uh, when we first started talking about it, we said we're going to do a team center Teams integration, and I said, well, I can do that today. I can fire up Teams and I can share any app. So what? It's got to be a lot more, and that's what made this unique, is we said, look, let's use OpenAI, let's use ChatGPT, automate the process, do the things that, there, there's a reason 70% of these issues don't get logged. I don't want to take the time to do it. Right. Make it simpler, make it happen automatically, right. and that's what we're doing in this process. What kind of value does a corporation of Microsoft and Siemens bring in the world of industrial automation? Well, it's for us very important to optimize and augment our users in programming PLC code. Therefore, we had a look at OpenAI and together with Microsoft, we found a way how we can not only generate PLC code snippets, but also how we can optimize code, how we can debug the code, but then also how we can document the code. Furthermore, if you then have generated the code and it's deployed on site in a PLC, for example, we're also going to use now um, OpenAI to do a um, diagnostic to the maintenance. And here we have an example with a robot arm where a customer could ask if something happened, what is the root cause, what I do next. So we have it both in the engineering phase, but also in the operational phase. Having that this, this is all exploratory. It's not in a product, but we show what might be possible today and tomorrow in order to support our customers. In the future, we see OpenAI use cases being very, very strong in help make sense out of OT data. OpenAI and, and large language models are very, very good at making sense out of big, unstructured sets of data. So helping making sense out of the OT data and bringing into the beta, bigger data strategy is one of the key scenarios that we see going forward.